Okay, today I'm uh, setting up to check the crankshaft and play. You can see I got the dial indicator with the magnet base hooked to the flywheel, and I got it already set to zero. And the flywheel is all the way in at this point, so I'm going to pull it out and see how far it goes. So far, let's. 10, 15, 20, yeah, 20, shit. So 10, 20, 30, 35 thousands, it looks like. Go back to zero. I got 35 thousands of end play. And that seems like a lot, so I need to make sure that this flywheel, well, that wouldn't matter because it's going to move with the crankshaft. So whatever the crankshaft moves, I mean, the, the flywheel's on there tight. So looks like 10, 20, 30, 35 thousandths. So... Let me, uh, let me figure out what I got to do with that. Okay, this is this is what I've come up with after some painstakingly uh, ciphering, I guess you'd say. So I got, you know, this is definitely 35,000. It's 10, 20, it goes up all, all the way to 35. So I found the shims. These are the shims that came off of it. This cheap thing from Harbor Freight only doesn't measure up to the thousands. It only measures up to the, the hundreds. So I got, you know, well, it's, it's three, yeah, let's see, 10, 20, 10, or, uh, Tens, hundreds, so it's three hundreds, right? But I can't see, should be a third number down here to give me a more accurate rating. At any rate, it's three hundreds, right? So I pulled out this guy, which I happen to have. And this this one's a little harder to read, but it, it's it's probably the most accurate. I would say old school micrometer. So what I've done is I just tightened it down on there, pulled those out, and then counted backwards on the dial. I don't know how easy that is for you to see there, but uh, it's about at nine. But we'll, for all intents and purposes, well, it's actually about an 8. I don't know if you can see the 0 there, but the 0 is on the 8. So if I tighten it up, I can count how many, how uh, what the size is. So let's see. There's, uh, there's 5. Ten. 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So with these shims, I've got about 33 thousandths. So, if this is at 35, if I use these three shims the way they are, and if everything's as accurate as I'm coming up with, so the math, it should be around two thousandths of play. Everything I'm seeing is says between three and five. So the only way I'm really going to find out what I have is to go ahead and throw these shims in there 
and then remeasure with the dial. These are a little bit dirty, so I'll, I'll clean them up a little more. I did already clean them, but you can see they still got some crud on them. So I'll clean these up better. Put them on the flywheel, put them under the flywheel. Uh, crank the gland nut back on and then set the dial up and see where I'm at at that point. Okay, shims are in. All set back up with the dial indicator. All zeroed in. Gonna pull it out now. I, I haven't pulled it out yet, so we're doing this dry. One, two, three. Four. Ah, that little black line is in the way. Get that guy out of the way. So there, there's zero. One, two, three, four. So I'm at four thousandths, which is the tolerance that I'm looking for. So when all was said and done, the three shims, these are the, the original three shims that were on the motor when I took it apart. So to where the motor started the last time it was rebuilt as far as uh, you know, crankshaft end play anyhow. I would guess the last guy, which would have been my father, uh, set this up the last time. And, and who knows if the guy before him didn't have it already set as well but at any rate I got a good end play crankshaft end play flywheel end play and, uh, and and that was the main goal of this video just now